Hey guys, I don't know, the lighting looks so weird and I feel like it keeps going in and out, but I thought today would be a good day to take you to the design studio. Um, so we have this campus called Boldwood Campus in, in Southampton, which is basically like the campus where all engineers stays. And like for fourth year civil engineering students, we have this thing called a group design project, so GDP. And I wanna show you what we're doing for our design project. So come along. <laughs> So I'm in the design studio right now. Well, this is actually not the design studio. It'd be called it like the virtual cave because our GDP project, which stands for like group design project for fourth year is basically to build a virtual reality bike simulator, which doesn't mean loads right now. But like basically instead of wearing a VR headset, which I actually have here, this is a VR headset. So you put it on and then you can see through the lens and you can see like a world and you can like navigate through the world and even have like controllers for the hands if it's more like um, proper. But instead of wearing this, what we're trying to do is create like a VR cave. So like we have projectors all around the walls um, and these projectors show these screens of like a world that we're creating. So like, <laughs> I was gonna say my colleagues. I was like, you're not my colleague. Um, my friends, like my other team member, Aaron, he's creating like the virtual reality world and I'm helping him. And basically the projectors project onto the screen and then you have a bicycle on this like rocker plate to simulate like real life like movement. And then as you navigate through the world, you go with it. So you're fully immersed in like the environment. It makes more sense when I show you to it. So I'm gonna do that now. So this is the VR cave. And those are the three projectors and they're simultaneously projecting the same thing on through these three walls. And so you have a 270 degrees immersive um, cave. And this is the bicycle simulator. And basically the bicycle is gonna be mounted on these plates, which are called the rocker plate, to simulate like movement. And then we have like a variable friction thing. This is a turntable so you can actually turn the bicycle and as you turn, the world turns with it. This will make more sense when you can actually see things projected from these projectors because it's high, high quality. And then here, the back wheel is mounted to this like resistance thing. Um, and over here is our workstation. <laughs> and this is the world I was talking about. He's just watching a tutorial. I'll come this way. And so like, this is like Unreal Engine 4, which is where you can create like the maps that we're gonna project there. Okay, so currently right now we're trying to build the landscape for where our map's gonna go. So like, people obviously have to travel through an environment in the bicycle simulator, but we need to build a landscape. And to do that, um, we're trying to export like data of like Southampton and its terrain and like import that into like Unreal Engine 4. But so far it's just not like, look. <laughs> It's not, it's going somehow actually. The thing about this program is like anything you, like none of us have ever used this before. Like you have to learn it all by yourself and it's kind of like, it's kind of long learning it. Oh, this kind of looks better. I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so that's, oh mad. Like how, like that's how. quite high though. Oh yeah, no it is. Like we need to get rid of the. That's it's like, jigga, jigga, jigga. That's not Southampton. That I don't know not, Southampton yeah, no, at that's, all. That's definitely not. It looks cool now that it has texture. Yeah. This bit looks no, sorry. This bit looks like the rest of this is like mountain stuff. So I try and flatten it. Yeah. Okay, 
okay we're on our way to get food because we're just really tired we're not tired we're just hungry and he hasn't eaten breakfast so it's just an excuse to procrastinate obviously look at the view oh you can't see the view <laughs> Not the same, not the, those ones are nice. I'm gonna have one of those. Ooh. And they're fully. So after lunch we decided to actually utilize the whiteboard so we can write all the tasks that we needed to get done today and by the end of the week as well so first, first things, things first i'm at each no i'm joking first things first we decided to get make sure we got the terrain and landscape done so by the end of today we wanted a landscape where we could build our route so people have to cycle the 1.2 kilometer route and we're going to build that next week next thing we wanted to do was make sure that our output was working we wanted to get the right numbers with the code so we had to clean that up and then lastly we wanted to like make sure that we could get more uk looking roads rather than us since it's meant to be mimicking cycling in uk cycling infrastructures and so that's what we were doing for the majority of today okay, um, so you're in. this is still building actually so i guess we'll launch after that Okay, so we're gonna end this vlog. Okay, so I have to film the outro in the GoPro, but hopefully it looks fine, but I'm gonna go home now because it's like, we've been here for a while. Abbott's still gonna stay here, but thank you for coming along to the design studio and um, we'll show you more next time. Bye.